The selection of an appropriate drainage system is based on a variety of factors. The scale and intensity of development, the amount and location of paved and unpaved surfaces, and the proposed uses, ecological impacts, and aesthetic concerns must be addressed in making a choice. Physical factors such as soil erodibility, extent and steepness of slopes, and expected rainfall intensities must also be considered. In addition, the availability and suitability of a potential drainage outlet and the character of existing local systems may help determine the type of system proposed. Building and environmental codes or other regulatory requirements, such as maximum rate and volume of runoff, water quality, and method of connection to an existing system must be met. The ultimate objective in designing most storm drainage systems is not to exceed the rate of flow that existed prior to the development of a site for all storm frequencies. Open Drainage System In an open drainage system, all surface runoff from paved and unpaved areas is collected and conveyed on the ground, primarily by swales. The system is discharged or directed to an on- or off-site drainage way, stream, or other natural water course, an existing street or municipal storm drainage system, or an on-site retention or sediment pond. The components of a system may include swales, gutters, channels, culverts, and detention, retention, sediment, or infiltration basins. In designing the system, consideration must be given to the volume and velocity of runoff to prevent swale erosion and to the means of controlling discharge at the outlet in order to collect sediment. If necessary, flow energy must also be dissipated to prevent erosion. Closed Drainage System for a closed drainage system, surface runoff from paved and unpaved areas is collected at surface inlets and conveyed by underground pipes to an outlet either on or off the site. The advantage of this system is that the runoff may be intercepted before the volume and velocity increase to the point of causing erosion. Disadvantages include increased cost and complexity of the system potential for erosion at the discharge point due to the greater concentration of runoff, reduced filtering of sediment because of increased velocity of the stormwater in the pipes, and reduced opportunity for stormwater to infiltrate the soil. Structures commonly associated with closed systems are catch basins, drain inlets, area drains, trench drains, manholes, and piping. There are various piping materials, including reinforced concrete, vitrified clay, corrugated metal, and plastic. Combination System In many cases, the system is a combination of open and closed drainage. Typically, the open system is used in unpaved areas with the intent of providing more opportunity for the stormwater to infiltrate the pervious surface, whereas the closed system is used in paved areas. The advantages of this system are reduced construction costs as compared with a totally closed system, lower potential for soil erosion because of reduced volumes of surface runoff, and lower potential for erosion problems at the outfall because of lower volumes in the pipes. Music